Hello, Jamie from Active Training World here. I'm very excited to be giving you your online race brief for the Box End Triathlon. We have two different distances, the sprint and the standard. The sprint is a 750 meter swim, followed by a 21 kilometer bike ride, and then finally a five kilometer run. And then our standard triathlon is a 1,500 meter swim, followed by a 40 kilometer bike ride, and then finally a 10 kilometer run. When you arrive at Box End, we aren't going to be using the parking spaces outside the front of the water sports center. Instead, our lovely parking marshals will direct you down just the narrow path to the right. Uh, this will take you into a nice, big, open, grassy field. Again, mar parking marshals will help you and they will direct you where you need to park. This parking area is right next to our HQ and transition, and it is free of charge, so you don't need to worry about bringing any coins or anything to pay in a meter. As I said, it's between 50 meters all the way up to a couple of hundred meters away from where our registration area is. So once you're all parked up and ready, you can walk on down. We will have a couple of uh, bits of racking where you can rack your bike and then you can get in the registration line and get yourself all registered. When you are at the front of the line at registration, please give the name you signed up with and then you will be handed a envelope. Inside the envelope, you will be given a couple of stickers. These are for your helmet and for your bike, so you can enter and exit transition. These stickers will match the next thing you get given, which is your race number. You'll be given two of these. One of these is for the front, for when you're on the run part of the uh, triathlon, and the other is for the back when you are on the bike part. Some of you may have a race belt, so you only need one of these numbers, but remember to make sure you turn the belt around from the front to the back when you're going out onto the bike course, and then when you're going onto the run course, you turn it from the back, back round to the front of you. You will also be given a, a chip and a chip strap. Uh, this will be going on your left ankle. There will be people that can help you put these on if you do need some assistance. These are going to be recording your time as you get into transition and also as you get over the finish line. So we have your full completed finish time. The last thing you'll be given is a swim hat. It is compulsory that you wear the swim hats as we will be having different swim hats for all of our different distances. And therefore we know who is completing which race. Once you've done registration, you can go get your bike all sorted, you can head into transition. As I said before, make sure before you enter transition that you have got your race number on your front and your back or on your race belt, and then also your stickers are placed on your bike and your helmet. When you enter transition, there will be some transition marshals. They will be able to make sure that you've got your helmet on securely. Your helmet has to be on before you enter transition. We wanna see them nicely strapped up and not loosely waving around the top of your head. So make sure your helmet is on securely and they might check things to make sure you're happy with your brakes and to make sure you have plugs in the end of your handlebars. Once they are happy with you entering transition, they will then give you some assistance if you need it to go and find your sticker space. So on the racking, there will be a matching sticker to match those of your bike and your helmet. And this is your spot where you can rack your bike and place some of your equipment neatly to the side. We don't want any big, large bags or large boxes left next to the bikes, um, but we will have a area on the side of transition where you can keep a small bag or something uh, to to just keep your stuff in a, in a safe place. Um, but ATW do not take responsibility if things get stolen, so please leave any valuables in the car. Luckily, it's only a short walk away from where you should be parked. Once you're done with transition, we will be heading out onto uh, getting ready for the event to start. So we will be starting people off from seven, seven o'clock. Uh, so at about 6.45, we'll be asking people to start leaving the transition area and heading over to our swim start. Our swim start, there is a small ramp that will help you get into the water, and then we will get you in and ready to go, lined up in line with a big metal, metal structure that, that is out of the water used for the wakeboarding, and then we will get ready to set you off, everyone going at the same time at seven o'clock. 
So it's a 750 meter lap. So as I said before, our sprint triathletes will be doing one lap of the swim course. Our 1,500 meters uh, standard swimmers will be doing two laps of the course and our centurions will be doing three laps of the swim course. When you exit, you will exit slightly different to the way you entered. So as you come round the last buoy, instead of swimming and continuing your circular motion, you will be able to make a beeline directly for the archway at the end of the swim. Once you have completed the swim section of the triathlon, you will be heading out onto the bike. So you'll be able to head into transition. Remember, make sure that before touching your bike, you need to make sure that your helmet is securely fastened. Then you can take your bike off the racking and head out onto the bike course. There will be some matting that will direct you all the way out onto the road. And when you're on the road, you'll be ready to start our lap. So the sprint triathlon, you will be doing a 21 kilometer lap. You will follow the main loop all the way around. And then when you get to the roundabout towards the end, you will see a arrow that will say finish loop. So there's a main loop and then there's a finish loop that everyone will be completing the finish loop before bringing us back to box end. So your sprint athletes, you will be doing one lap of the sprint lap and then you will be doing the finish loop and you will head back to the HQ. Standard, you will do one lap of the standard loop. So you will head on out, you will do your 40 kilometer loop. Again, when you get to this roundabout where there's the split point, you will be turning right at the roundabout and then you will be doing a little finish loop that will take you back to Box End Lakes. Finally, our Centurion riders, you'll be completing one lap of the sprint course. Then you will be completing two laps of the standard course. And finally, you'll be doing this short little finish loop to take you back to HQ. So, we need to make sure that we are remembering how many laps we are doing. So again, for the Centurion, we're doing one sprint, two standard, and then a finish loop. For the standard, we're doing one standard and then the finish loop. And for sprint, we are doing a sprint lap and then the finish loop. This will be a, a bit of a tricky roundabout, this split point here. Basically, we're going to be telling people that you will be turning left for more laps and you'll be turning right for the finish loop. So make sure you are getting in your lane nice and early. So if you know you have more laps to complete, you'll be in the left lane. And if you are doing your or heading onto your finish loop, you'll be starting to get into the right hand lane to take you through the finish loop and then back into transition. The final section of the triathlon, you will be heading out onto the run course. Uh, the run course is a five kilometer loop. So again, our sprint athletes will be doing one lap of the one lap of the uh, the run course our standard athletes will be doing two laps of the run course and then our centurion athletes will be doing three laps of the run course so it's 5k for sprint 10k for standard and 15 kilometers for our centurions on both the run and the um, bike course we do have a water station these will have water and energy drink that will, you'll be able to fill up your own water bottles with and they will also have some of our OTE gels um, to give you a bit more energy as you're going around the course once you've completed the run section you will be able to cross over the finish line and collect your finish line goodies and medals so well done for completing your sprint or your standard distance triathlon today. Congratulations on being a centurion if you completed the full distance. When you have collected your medals, you will be able to go and collect your bike from transition. Once the race official opens transition for everyone to go and return their bikes. So again, reminder to make sure you have your number on your front or your back and the stickers on your bike and your helmet when you are leaving. So then we can allow you to leave with the same equipment that you brought in the first place. 
We're super excited to be back at Box End and hopefully the weather's going to be very nice like it is for me today. We'll see you soon.